let's talk solar. This thing is a beast. Hi guys, welcome to my channel, Honey and Me. I'm Susan. Today, we are going to be talking about solar power. Solar power for our RVs, as well as for our home. You may remember that I did a review of the All Powers S700 power station, oh, a couple of months ago. And I've really been enjoying using this little power station to keep my devices charged up while I've been out car camping. It's been really nice to use and I've really enjoyed having this. Then All Powers contacted me and asked if I would be interested in trying out their S2000. Yes, 2000, 2000 watts of continuous power. Whoa. So of course I said yes. <laughs> they also offered to send me their 400 watt solar panel. This thing is huge. It weighs about 41 pounds, so it's not a lightweight thing to carry around. And because it is quite large, it would be hard to carry with me in the car camper. I do have the 100 watt panels here just to compare size. This is very light and very handy to use. But this 400 watt panel is perfect for charging the S2000 power station. Where we live, the power goes off fairly regularly. We came home from town yesterday after spending the whole day in town, getting groceries and doing all our errands with three coolers full of food that needed to go into the fridge and the freezers. And we came home and the power was off again. But because I have this new All Powers S2000 watt power station, we were able to plug the fridge in and make sure that the food that we had brought back from town didn't spoil before the power went back on again. We were also able to use our power station to fire up our internet. The internet that we get here comes through broadband. It goes from tower to tower to tower down the valley. Even when the power goes off, the towers still broadcast internet however that works. Because of that, we are able to plug in our modem and the satellite that picks up the signal from the tower across the valley. And we are able to get internet, which means our cell phones work. The problem being with the power going out and us depending on our cell phones to be able to call, if there was an emergency, we would be hooped because we wouldn't be able to make a call for help. That has always been a bit of a worry since we got rid of our landline. This thing is a monster. It can power so much more than the S700. It's quite a bit heavier at 32 pounds. If you are the type of RVer or car camper who likes to take appliances with you, this is the answer to your power problems. I have tried this out in the kitchen and I will show you the clip that I made of trying out all the things that I had in the house, trying to wear down this battery. So now the kettle's boiling and the air fryer has another 13 minutes left on it. The kettle just shut off <laughs> and it's taken the power consumption way down to 20. So the air fryer is only sucking 20 watts of power now that it's all heated up to to the 400 degrees but now it's gone up again it's like the air fryer is cycling through power something i didn't realize about the air fryer but that's kind of interesting can't shut the air fryer off because there's nothing in it <laughs> and it just quickly goes back down to no power being consumed this is a little tiny heater that I found that I thought might be handy for using in the car camper. I haven't tried it on this battery before, but I'm going to now. So I'm flicking it on. Let's see what happens. Definitely heat coming out of there. Seems to have leveled out. So there's the little fan still running and using 297 watts of power. Now I'm going to whip up some water in my Ninja because this is something that I would actually consider taking with us on our travels. So still with the little heater running and using 297 watts of power. I'm not going to turn on my hair dryer that I use when we're traveling because it doesn't use a lot of power. And we'll see what it does then. Okay, there's 
with my flat iron. You can see it's flat and it's on. It's plugged in. Now it's using 980. It's going down a little bit as this is heating up. So I've got the hair dryer running, the heater running, and my flat iron heating up. And I'm assuming because the flat iron heats up and then doesn't suck as much power once it reaches temperature, that that's why the water usage is going down. And now I'm going to turn on my home hair dryer that I haven't been able to use in the RV because it sucks too much power. So we're going to turn this on and see what happens. Oh, better light up that light again. So here we go. On the good side though because you actually have more time to run stuff than that timer says you do. The other day we went down to the lake to give the dog the swim and took this power station and Honey with us so Honey could have a bit of a run. I'll show you what I did. We're going to try out this new S2000 All Powers power station down here at the lake where there are no services whatsoever. So we're going to try this out and make Trev a smoothie. He's just ridden the bike down from the house down to the lake here, which is a couple miles, and we're going to make him a smoothie. Pre-packaged the smoothie before we left. And I brought the Ninja Blender. These solar panels can be a little tricky to set up, but I'm gonna show you how easy it really is. First, you need the battery. I'm plugging the battery in before I set up the solar panel because it makes your solar panels last longer, is what I read, by not having them exposed to the sun unless they are connected to something that you're charging. 
so it's folded over and over so you can undo the snaps on the back and then unfold your first panel and pull out the leg in the back then your second panel and pull out the leg in the back well the, the fan is already going saying it's charging Oop, I lost it there it is so that's two panels unfold the next one pull out the legs and we have one more to go So there we have 400 watts of power being thrown into my power station. The time right now is 10.15 and it has just about 15% to charge to be 100%. So we're just going to check back and see how long it actually takes for it to get to 100%. Five minutes later and it's charged up about 3 or 4%, I think it was 85 or 86 and we're still pulling 313 watts from the sun. It's 10.30 now and we're up to 93%. It's now 10.43 and it is completely charged up. Not getting as much power in it because the sun's kind of moved off to the side of the panels, but I don't need to worry about moving them because we're 100% charged. All Powers does make another 2000 watt power station. It's called the S2000 Pro and it has a plug-in that takes the type of plug-in that comes from an RV. For this one, because we don't have the Pro here, we're using an adapter and we can actually do the same thing as with the Pro. So I'm going to plug this in and turn on the AC power. Press and hold for three seconds for it to come on. You can hear the fan started up. So with this, I can use the regular 110 type plug-ins in the RV just like I would in a house. So let's go take a look and we'll see how that works. Right here is a little orange light that indicates that my RV is plugged into shore power or in this case into the S2000 power station outside. And now I'm going to power up or charge up my e-bike. It shows there are two bars of battery power left in the bike's battery and I'm going to plug it in the little light indicator light here is on on the power brick that shows it's being charged that it's got power coming to it so now let's go take a look at the power station outside to see how much draw there is on the battery now that i've got the bike plugged into it so there is 60 watts of power being used from this battery to charge up my e-bike one thing we found when we plugged this in originally was there was a hundred and something I can't remember the exact number watts of power leaving the battery and going into the RV and being used up by something we couldn't really figure out what it was and then we heard a, a slight very quiet humming noise and realized it was the battery charger that is in the RV that charges up the coach battery when the RV is plugged into shore power and because it thinks it's plugged into shore power, it was going to charge up the coach 12 volt battery. We had to figure out which breaker switch was actually powering the battery charger and we turned that off. So now when it's plugged into shore power, like it thinks it is now, it's not trying to charge the 12 volt battery in the coach. There are solar panels on the roof of Honey that charge that battery constantly and it doesn't need to be charged when it gets plugged into the shore power. So not going to worry too much about turning it back on unless for some reason I run out of power and I'm somewhere where I can plug in. So we've moved inside because it is getting very hot outside and it's a little bit cooler in here anyway. So I'm going to tell you a little bit about the S2000 power station as well as the 400 watt solar panels. The S2000 with 2000 in the name says that it will give you 2000 watts of continuous power. It actually gives you a little bit more. I tried this out in the house and 
found that it would go up to, I think it was 2,200 watts. It also has a 4,000 watt power surge, which means if something takes up to 4,000 watts of power to get started before it kind of levels out at a lower power consumption, this can take up to 4,000 watts of a power surge just for a short period of time. I've often wondered about the longevity of these power stations, how long they're going to last you after you invest in them. Well, I found the information for this one and it will last you 10 years. And that's assuming that you run an entire battery dry basically every single day for 10 years. Most people aren't going to do that. I know we aren't. There are three ways you can charge this battery. You can charge it by plugging it into the wall. You can charge it by plugging it into a solar panel, but it also comes with a car charger. This is the first power station that I've got that actually comes with a 12 volt cigarette lighter type plug-in for, for charging it while you're driving your car, which to me is just kind of a no-brainer. I don't know why they don't all come with it, but this one actually does, so that's cool. It has a built-in pure sine wave inverter, which makes it safe for charging all of your electronics. It's very fast charging. I was quite impressed with how quickly it did charge. I've charged it up twice using the solar panels and it took less than four hours just using the 400 watt solar panel. So that was pretty good. And that was in the morning. The sun wasn't even at its strongest at that point. This weighs almost 32 pounds, which is 14 and a half kilograms for us Canadians. So it is on the heavy side. As a size comparison, you can see how much smaller the S700 is. Of course, you're getting 1300 less watts of power, but it is quite a bit smaller. But I can actually still fit this behind the seat in my car where this one fit on the little stool I have behind the driver's seat. This one still actually fits. Because it's bigger and will last longer, I can probably go for a couple of days without even needing to get out the solar panels to charge it up. It also has 11 different ports that you can plug into. It has one 12 volt cigarette lighter type plug-in. It has four AC plug-ins like you have in your house. It has four USB, I think it's A plug-ins, two USB-C plug-ins. And it, then the plug-in for plugging the solar is here. And on the back, is where you plug it into your shore power. This button here will turn on the display as well as it's the Bluetooth button. All Powers has an app that you can download on your phone and it will allow you to control your battery from your phone using Bluetooth. So this is the Bluetooth connection button. Then we have the AC power button and the DC power button. The DC power button, you just have to push it and it comes on. The AC button, you have to push it for about three seconds. And I always seem to have a problem with how long three seconds is because it doesn't work for me the first time. But, <laughs> but yeah, that's the AC button. We have a picture of a battery on the front here that tells you the levels, but it also has how much charge there is in a number. So this is 100% charge because we just charged it up. It's using 0% of the power right now. This is also going to show you how much power is going in as well as how much power is going out. There's a little number underneath the battery here that will tell you when you've got something plugged into it, how long the battery will last with whatever power consumption is going on for whatever you're using. It's kind of interesting to try out different appliances and see how long they would run on this battery by checking out that number. With the experiments that I did with using different appliances, I found that it wasn't terribly accurate. It actually lasts longer than it says it will. I like being able to park my vehicle in the shade and take advantage of that shade by keeping it cooler in here and still be able to charge up my power stations using the portable solar panels because they can go in the sun. They don't care if it's hot. I do. <laughs> so do my animals. I think that's a real advantage to these portable solar panels. I really like this 4000 watt panel. I think it's going to be really, really handy for when we're traveling in the trailer as well as in honey and possibly when I'm car camping. It, it's kind of big to be taking in the car camper, but I am going to be getting a new car camper. Stay tuned for that and it may fit in there just fine. We'll have to see. 
it's kind of hard to show you all the stuff about the solar panel here in the RV, but on the solar panel on each side, top and bottom, there are little tabs where you could hang up the solar panel if you had something that was strong enough to hold it up. I'll leave all the details about the S2000 and the 400 watt solar panel in the description down below. I will also leave a link to the All Powers website where you can find both of these and right now I know they're having a sale. Go and check out their website. They seem to have sales quite often and as always if you enjoy this video please give it a thumbs up and if you want to see more subscribe. Bye!